We all have these moments where it's so easy to want to try to prove ourselves to another person, an organization, or even to ourselves. And in every single one of these cases, it can go one of two ways. We either get the supposed validation that we were hoping for. Someone says that, yes, in fact, we have accomplished this thing and therefore we are good. Happy days. Or it goes the other way, which means that we don't achieve what we were hoping to do. We don't end up proving ourselves in the way that we wanted to. And therefore we experience potentially a lot of negative emotions as a result of that disappointment or that letdown. And in both of these cases, I think it's wrong for the same reason. It's a bad choice for the same reason, because we are putting our perception of ourselves into the external environment. We are giving credence to something that is outside of us as compared to our own opinion of ourselves, our own perspective of who we know ourselves to be and, and the things that we value and represent. And any time that we do that, we are always going to run into these potholes of not feeling good about ourselves or it disturbing our peace because the world is turbulent. The world has a lot of things going on inside of it that we can't control. And if we are outsourcing our very essence of who we think we are to those around us or to other situations around us, then we're never going to really have a certain stability of who we think ourselves to be or how well we think of ourselves, which is a really misguided thing to do with the best intentions. We're wanting to show that, hey, we are in fact X, Y, or Z. Whereas in reality, to even question that is undermining our own capabilities in a very subtle way. The authentication of a passport or other government documents is necessary because the government needs to know that you are in fact who you say you are. But when it comes to our day-to-day -day lives, when we say anything about ourselves, then if it's not coming from a place of authenticity, then one, that's not great. But two, if it is, and someone doesn't believe that, then why should that matter? It's not like you're going around to try to seek all of this approval from everyone else. It's not like anyone else has the key to being able to say, yes, you were in fact what you say you are. This isn't a government document. This isn't, you need to check XYZ box, and then in six to 10 days, I'm gonna give you back your results. That's, that's not how this works. So why do you keep doing this? Why do we all keep doing this? I'm definitely not perfect in this regard by any stretch of the imagination. I fall into this far more often than I would like to. But what can we do about it? What can we say to ourselves in the moment when this opportunity comes up to prove ourselves or to validate that we can in fact do this thing for sure, without a doubt, definitely, but this person just needs to be put in their place. They need to really know that I can in fact do this thing, for sure. In these situations, I almost always feel some kind of urge, some butterflies in my stomach to want to really stick it to them. And what I've found when I recognize that, when I'm able to recognize that and flip the script and say, because I'm feeling that and because I want to prove something to someone that I am capable, that is the moment in which I need to do it the least. Because otherwise your entire life becomes one big test that you're never ever going to really be able to get your grades back on. And even if you are to be able to get your grades back on, who's the marker? No one, the people around you, yourself. It doesn't make any sense. If we can instead just endeavor to do the things that we want to do and be the people that we want to be, then people are going to notice because they're going to see us in our natural environment, doing our natural habits and routines. But even if they don't, that's perfectly okay too, because they obviously don't have 
the full context necessary to draw the most accurate conclusion. And I've struggled with this for the longest time, even up until today. You know, these days I still feel this underlying urge to show people, hey, you know, actually, in fact, I, I am this great person. I do all these great things. Please, please trust me. I'm not lying. But when we do that, it almost changes who we are because we're not being our most authentic self in that moment. So it's kind of a paradox of this wanting to show people how good we are and how great we are is actually the thing that makes us come across as kind of weird and like not great people. This all stems back to the more general idea of just being more aware and conscious of the things that we're doing and each step of the day. So try to keep this in mind. It's been helpful for me, so I hope it's helpful for you. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and do more than you think you can.